Hello, and welcome to Archvelder's Hacks with Archvelder and his amazing hacks. So it's phase two of Classic and everyone is grinding honor in Alterac Valley. If you are Alliance, Alterac Valley currently resembles a slaughter more than a battle. Last Friday I played somewhere between 20 to 30 matches and won just once. Statistically speaking, if you are queuing into pugs, your chance of winning is literally zero due to rounding error. Fortunately, there's a simple trick you can use to get around the current carnage every time you queue. What most Alliance players tend to do is just queue up like I'm doing here. Click on first available and enter what appears to be a random battleground. But in fact, as we'll see, it won't be a random battleground. You see, organised, well-geared, pre-made groups have been screening out the first available battleground in the knowledge that these tend to be populated by lower level, inexperienced or undergeared players. And they tend to queue into recently formed instances. What this means is that by queuing for first available, you invariably end up in a pool of players that is disproportionately unlikely to win. The method to get around this is really simple. Just pick the most recently formed group number at the bottom of the list. By doing this you give yourself a decent chance of queuing into an alliance group with a pre-made, which usually makes for a certain and speedy win. Now this doesn't always work, you can usually tell when it has worked because the BG fills up instantly with players which never happens when you queue for first available. You also get a wide selection of buffs and if you look at the ranks of the players you'll notice they go up to commander which again you will rarely see in a pub group. Now if none of these things, particularly the number of initial players, has materialised, you may just wish to take the deserted debuff because the amount of honour and rep you will gain from staying with that group is very low. In contrast with my experience on Friday before I discovered this trick, when I was making this video I was getting multiple consecutive wins in a short space of time. Alliance was also killing Captain Galvanar before the Horde could kill Belinda Stonehearth, which gets you 125 rep in only a few minutes. The Commanders and Towers were also going down faster than an Essex girl. In about an hour I got roughly the same rep as I had previously in a single working day. Now in future it's possible that the premades may adjust to this strategy, in which case you can counter that by randomising your decision which instance to join. Randomization is a very powerful tool for use in games of incomplete information, which is effectively what this is. Now there are some other tricks here which are important. In Alterac, the corpses of enemy players can be looted and turned into quest givers. It doesn't matter if you actually kill the player, you just have to loot the corpse before the enemy player releases their spirit. By far the most important of the items you can loot are Storm Crystals. These can be turned into the Druids in Dunbaldar North in a repeatable quest. The reason these items are so valuable is that you can get up to 20 of them from a single player and each crystal gives you one point of rep. Moreover, the Druids will almost never be killed by the Horde, unlike the quest givers for other items. In many matches where my team was performing poorly, this source of reputation exceeded all others. Never pass by a corpse. It is always worthwhile to loot it. Bear in mind also that towers that are capped near the end of the match may burn down after the match has ended in the two minute grace period where everyone is stunned before you are booted from the instance. It is obviously a lot easier to cap a tower near the end of the BG for this reason. The Horde can't recap since they can't move. Finally, if you get stuck in a truly awful match for an extended period, rogues might want to try pickpocketing the trogs in the Iron Deep Mine. This is actually a pretty good pickpocket girl farm, a good way to grind gold, honour and rep simultaneously. Now, with all my videos, and it is literally all of my videos, multiple people will ask, will I get banned for doing this? And no, you aren't doing anything to violate the terms and conditions, really. If anything, the queuing strategy helps restore game balance. This is very much a creative use of game mechanics rather than an actual exploit. In fact, it might even be considered that what the pre-modes are doing is exploitative, and this strategy is simply a counter to that. 
Now, if you are interested in actual hardcore exploit exploits for retail and classic, you may wish to sign up to my super secret Patreon feed, where tons of stuff I can't reveal publicly is posted on a regular basis into an increasingly huge archive of exploits. But if you can't afford it or just don't want to sign up for whatever reason, that is your choice. I will always try and produce the best possible content I can on this public channel for free for as long as WoW exists. Literally as I was making this video, Blizzard released a blue post stating that Battleground instances would no longer have numbers, making it impossible for large pre-made groups to exist. I think this is a rare example of a measured and wise decision by Blizzard, so credit where credit is due. Well done, you evil, greedy, corporate bastards. The changes are scheduled for weekly maintenance, which currently is six days away. So until that time, the strategies mentioned in this video should be viable. So there's the video. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, why not subscribe? This has been Archvelder.